Hey guys, it's your favorite girl here, Bex21, and I'm back at it with another video here on my health channel. Many of you guys have asked me for this vegan mac and cheese recipe, okay? Many of y'all wanted it, okay? And I'm here to give it to you, the best vegan mac and cheese. I got some of my inspiration from Beef For Real, and there's another YouTuber, but I'll put their YouTubers, YouTube names here, and then I also did my own thing, my own flavor, because you gotta, mac and cheese, you know, the arms give you the spirit. This this is not my arm anymore. <laughs> I got skinny arms now, but you know, I, I learned a lot. I've picked up a lot. So we're going to get into cooking this and I'm going to show you guys how I make my bomb ass vegan mac and cheese. Okay. We're going to start with the root. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I'll leave everything down below in the description, but truly be for real was my inspiration for this. And you know, again, I made it my own way, made it bomb. So I'm going to share it with y'all. Ignore my station, I have things going so I'm ready to go. First thing that we're gonna start off with is half a cup of oil. I'm going to use avocado oil, okay? I suggest avocado, grapeseed, one of the two, but we're gonna start with half a cup. Then now I'm gonna pour in some flour. I'm using spelt flour, and I'm only gonna pour in a little at a time just to make sure it's blending well. So I'm gonna pour in this half of a cup of spelt flour. You wanna whisk it slowly and make sure all the little pieces are blended up. You wanna be on like a medium high heat. So you wanna kinda cook this mixture after it's all blended for about one to two minutes. I did too, um, but you need to stir it while it's doing it because you can burn it and you don't want that. So now that the content is mixed, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in everything. The first thing that we're gonna add is coconut milk, yes. And this is gonna be for creaminess. I know it sounds weird. Trust me on this, it will not taste like coconut. I promise you, I don't want my mac and cheese tasting like coconut at all. But after the seasonings, the cheese, and everything else we're adding, that just goes away. So it's just going to be creaminess, I promise. So I'm going to pour in this one can of coconut milk. And then you want to just go ahead and stir it and blend in with that roux mixture we just made. And then we're going to add a cup of veggie broth, okay? And now we're just going to stir those two together and let them blend up. Once everything's blended, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our vegan cheese. I'm gonna go in with the Daya cheddar and mozzarella shreds. We're gonna add in this whole bag. I'm also gonna add in the Via Life cheddar shreds. I prefer Via Life over Daya, but I'm adding in this Via Life Epic Mature cheddar block. It is so good and creamy. It's perfect for mac and cheese. You definitely wanna add this to like the top, the inside. If you want it to be more like mac and cheese, I definitely suggest you guys use more of this, but but if you're going for a more affordable version, then use the bags of Vial Life and the Daya and then just add that in. Now that these have kind of married each other, I'm gonna add in the cheese a little bit at a time till it starts to melt. Which it will melt very fast. This cheese melts extremely quick. I'm gonna bring the temperature up to a medium heat a little bit. At this point, it's still going to smell like coconut and you're gonna be pissed, right? But I promise it'll go away. Just keep working with me, baby. You could kind of see it starting to thicken. That's what you want, okay? And we're gonna keep adding more cheese, baby, because we're not done. Now, as I am stirring this in, it might get a little thick to the point of where you feel like you can't keep stirring it. That's when you add in cream cheese. Some people say sour cream, but to me, this is the best one. There's the Vile Life Cream Cheese Cheddar. So it adds more of a cheese flavor. And I'm gonna literally add this entire container. And that's gonna make it less like goopy cheesy once you start adding in that cream cheese. And now I'm gonna kind of grate in this block here. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, okay? I want about like half of it. And the rest I'm gonna put on top. That's gonna be the last little bit of cheese we put in here. You wanna blend until this is smooth, okay? You want it nice and smooth. I still have some more to go, so I'm gonna stir off camera. I'm gonna turn the heat on really low, and now I'm gonna add in my seasoning. We're gonna add in black pepper, add about a tablespoon, and now I'm gonna add in some sea salt. I'm gonna add some paprika to this mixture, okay? Very important. The true key component, nutritional yeast. You definitely need to add this. This is gonna kill the flavor of that coconut milk. Okay, so I added about three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm gonna add in some onion powder, just a little bit. And you know you have to add in the garlic powder, okay? Cause that's your business. 
and I'm gonna add in a 21 seasoning so it's kind of like a no salt seasoning from Trader Ho's so at Sprouts, you can find these. They're called not chicken, bouillon cubes, okay? They're vegan. And you know how we added the vegetable broth, but there was no, you know, meat. So this is gonna be like, I just dropped it on the floor, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna add this. It's gonna be like a adding a chicken broth, you know? So I'm gonna kind of break this up just a little bit, just to make sure it gets stirred in there. And then now I'm gonna stir it in. Don't tell you I didn't teach you nothing, okay? Stir that in for about a minute and then you're gonna taste it, make sure it's good. Uh, if it still tastes like coconut or something, you need to add A, more seasoning, two, probably more nutritional yeast, okay? So Alden said this is perfect. As you can see, it looks just like a cheese sauce. We're gonna sit this off to the side and we're gonna start cooking our noodles now. I'm gonna show you how I cook my noodles to make sure they are superb. And I've been doing this since before I was vegan, okay? With regular mac and cheese. So the noodles for our mac and cheese, we're gonna use these, it's like katab, I don't fucking know how to pronounce that girl and I am gonna try but they're like mac and cheese but they have a little spiral and this adds some texture to your noodles so or to your mac and so I kind of like it I'm using the remainder of what I had last time and then I'm adding in elbows I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna add some vegetable broth to this. This is about a half of these, but I know y'all be loving love measurements, so. so that's a little bit over two cups of vegetable broth. There you go, so essentially two cups. I'm adding in four cups of water. Never mind, I'm adding six cups of water, okay? Then now I'm gonna add some oil to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of an avocado oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick, right? Now, here's your trick to the trade, okay? I'm gonna add in some bell pepper. Now, usually I use green, but they didn't have any at the store. Now, I, didn't, I ain't never told nobody about this secret. So y'all y'all are lucky. Now, here's to make this shit incredible, okay? So I'm gonna take onion. Literally, leave it big. You want big chunks? Because you're gonna have to pull this out anyway. So I'm just gonna take chunks of onion and throw it in there. If it's too small, you don't want it in there because it's gonna be hard to fish out later. And this is gonna give those noodles that extra flavor for the mac and cheese. Don't tell nobody to teach you nothing. You ain't never found this secret anywhere. Now, I better not catch none of you hoes on YouTube doing this shit without crediting me. <laughs> or on your damn Instagram. And here is some minced garlic. I'm gonna add in about one and a half tablespoons of this. So you can put a lid on this and let it boil. Truly, to me, it does not matter. I just leave it open, so that's really up to you and your preference. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything, and I'll come back when the noodles and the cheese are done. Um, I strained the mac and cheese and took out all the big pieces of onion and bell pepper. That's why you wanna keep it big, okay? And it's just in here, of course you're gonna have minced garlic, but it's gonna taste fire. I reheated the cheese just to make sure that it was like gooey. And I'm essentially just gonna pour this over the noodles and mix it in. Cause you don't wanna have some that's like cheesy and some that not. Can you hear that? So now I'm gonna take some cooking spray and I'm gonna spray the pan that I'm gonna put it into before I put it in the oven. That's gonna help it solidify and kind of hold its shape. Please be careful with this because it's super hot. Okay, now that the mac is in here, we're gonna layer this with cheese after we've kind of smoothed it out. Now I'm gonna take these cheddar shreds, sprinkle that on top of this, the BioLife. Essentially, you want to make sure the entire thing is coated. Just like you would a regular mac and cheese. And now I'm going to add just a touch of these dye shreds. Just a little bit on the top. You don't have to do this. This is just me being extra. And here's the secret, okay? We're going to add some paprika right to the top. You just want to lightly dust it. 
as you can see how it's coming off. Lightly dust the paprika. This is going to help with the color and it's going to help it look more like it's solidified. And it's gonna give it a little extra spice, okay? Now, if you don't like spice, you can leave it there. You could even eat it after you mix the mac and cheese. But as a professional mac and cheeser, this is what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven until the top layer of cheese melts at 350 degrees. You know, all black people cook everything at 350. So <laughs> we're gonna cook this. The oven is already preheated. So I'm gonna put it in just until the top melts and then we're gonna come back. And as you can see, our mac and cheese looks great, right? not done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up to boil and I'm gonna let that boil for a little bit so what it's gonna do is create a crust create a film help solidify that mac and cheese um, I'm gonna flip it like after a minute or two you definitely want to watch it when you do this but I'm gonna flip it in a minute or two to get the other side crisp and golden too and we'll have our mac and cheese and here is the mac and cheese out I did burn it a little bit because I am cooking seatine but it's not really like burnt burnt it just has a film like can you guys hear that? It's like crust. Like mac and cheese should have. This is what it looks like from the side. Okay, good, juicy, and delicious. So that was a perfect shot right there. Vegan mac and cheese. There you have it, folks. Vegan mac and cheese. Okay, tell your mama about it. Tell your auntie. Tell your uncle. Everybody will love this recipe. Swear by it, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, okay? You're welcome. And I'm, I'm really gonna say that with my true whole heart and chest. You're welcome. Because you have no idea what this shit tastes like when you eat it. Why do I look like a Pisces? My eyes look really far okay there we go boom i'm getting used to this new face it's very slim and we're not we, she's been gone for a while we we don't know what she's doing <laughs> you guys have a very good one thanks peace